Welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, I'm out here at Shooters in Fort Myers, Florida, about to do the review of something truly very, very special. All right, as you guys know, if you've been subscribed to this channel, if you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing because a lot more content is coming. But if you have been subscribed, you know that recently I started getting more and more into the gear territory. Now, I've been doing a lot of firearms reviews and I absolutely love it. Gear is uh, still a very new field to me and uh, as I go I learn and uh, the more gear that I get the more comparison that I'm really able to do and today we have one of those gold standards. Right, I've been waiting to do this video for, for a very very long time. It's not just going to be a review but more of a sort of a introduction all right, to <laughs> the night vision and I'm absolutely blessed to have the opportunity to get in to the night vision with the best of the best that is out there. And it's the uh, L3 PVS 31A. All right, check this out guys. This little, <laughs> little cool binocular device over here. The normal commercial use is BNVD, which stands for binocular night vision device. Yes, very, very simple. L3 BNVD. Check this out. Alright, so what do we have over here? Well, this is the analog tubes. Uh, basically, what you are getting here is as rugged, as battle ready, as combat ready, as, I mean, as top of the line as you can get. Now, this right here runs at a very affordable <laughs> price of only $13,700. Okay, so why is this expensive? Why is this so special? Well, first of all, it comes with the analog tubes and that's really where all the magic happens. With the analog tubes, you don't really have any blurriness, you don't really have any kind of a delay in the vision, you don't really have any of unnecessary magnification or minifi... I don't know if there's such a word like but you know where the, basically the objects appear further than they are or objects appear a little bit closer not a little bit maybe a lot closer it really depends on what kind of digital night vision and i'm comparing this to the digital versus analog and i'll probably end up making a completely separate video on uh, that particular subject you know what is the cheap night vision versus something like this that is a real expensive good quality night vision so let's come back to this and talk about what we have over here. But first of all, you probably all guys are waiting for uh, some nighttime situation. So let's let's do that. Let me show you off how this thing works. Put this thing on first. And uh, I do have some headgear, which you probably would definitely want to invest. And since you are investing into some serious night vision, you probably will want to invest into some serious, at least decent headgear as well. So. We have, uh, let's see, our button right here, comes down, let me go turn off the light, and here we are. <laughs> so, without any problems, as you can see, you can hear, not here, you can see the targets, you can see around the range, there's absolutely no delay, and that's really just from one, one of the tubes that you're looking through. Obviously, whenever you're looking through both of the tubes, you can see much more. Let's talk a little bit about the features of this PVS 31. And uh, at least so that you can understand what you are paying for. Besides being rugged, besides being shockproof, besides being battle ready, this thing is, can also be submerged 60, like 66 feet underwater which is <laughs> unbelievable. That's something that you would want to do for regular testing, considering that you're paying $14,000 for this thing. But in case if you have to, if you're diving in, you're jumping off the bridge, you're jumping into the lake, hey, anything can happen in a survival situation. This will handle that without any problems. One important thing that I wanted to point out is besides being binocular, meaning that it's two, right? And uh, speaking of the top, top, top of the line, these tubes right here, they are right now on the market the absolute best top of the line. But the only thing that you can get better than this is quad. Okay, so four tubes instead of two tubes. So now you have a wider field of view. 
But with that, obviously, it comes a heavier price tag. That thing runs at about like $40,000, so that's pretty expensive, yes. But let's talk about this particular one. Obviously, you already noticed the articulating tubes, which is obviously very, very important. They articulate independently, as you can see, which means that if you are, you know, you are in a in field, doing what you gotta do, you know, it's nighttime, it's dark, you're looking through the night vision, and now you need to look at your phone and do something. Well, here you go, you can open one up, and uh, don't pay attention to this, this is just for security purpose, that attaches, supposed to attach to the uh, helmet. Um, you can do this, you can do that, and another very important thing about the articulating binocular night vision is that, check this out, once you lift it up, look at this, look at the positioning of this. If you walk around like this, you know, for, for four hours, six hours, eight hours, you know, in a night situation, at night, doing something, right, doing what you gotta do, this right here, because you have all that weight pulling you forward, I mean, your neck is gonna be killing you. With articulated, the way these are, you can simply pull them backwards like this, and what it creates, it creates a much, much better, much more comfortable weight distribution so that your neck does not bother you as much as it would when you have that whole front thing going on over here. Okay, so now I know what the uh, articulating feature of uh, this uh, night vision device is. Let's talk about the features that are actually on it. All right, so really there's really not much to talk about, believe it or not. We have a battery compartment right here in front, which is surprisingly, yes, it's just uh, your standard AA battery. Check this out, which uh, again, it's really hard to tell exactly how long this is gonna last you, this one AA battery, because, well, it depends on the battery, the quality of the battery that you're using, the uh, conditions that you're in, uh, but typically should last you somewhere between five and seven hours, which is almost the whole night, right? But if you do need more, luckily this comes included in the package. You also get the battery compartment, uh, which nicely with the Velcro attaches to the back of your helmet, like for example, right here, just like so. There you go. You get the uh, cord that plugs into the battery compartment and then plugs in right here to the side of your night vision device. This battery compartment takes four extra AA batteries, so now your operating time should be about mm, closer to 40 hours, right? More than 40 hours. So now you have two, three, four days on you. And because it's a AA battery, really it's uh, not that big of a deal to replace that, all right. So, uh, besides that, you have a power on, off button right here, which also serves as the gain adjustment. Uh, turns on by simply pressing the button once, turns off by pressing and holding the button, and then spinning this clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise increases and dec decreases the gain. Basically, if you want a little bit more brightness, you need a little bit more image uh, to see in a dark situation, you increase the gain. And for example, if you are uh, just using one side and you kind of want to uh, balance the vision between just your eye looking into, you know, dark night or whatever, <laughs> and uh, the one of the tubes, then you can kind of decrease the gain and it will balance it out a little bit better. Now, you're probably asking me, so what about the uh, diopters, right? Which is basically, is there any control for the amount of that magnification or minification? There's no such word. I know there's no such word. It's freaking terrible. This is, this is what you get from an immigrant, right? <laughs> so, how do you adjust that? Well, the thing is, these come with standard uh, minus 0.5. Uh, vision, so you, you, you don't really have any adjustment to that, and that minus 0.5 vision uh, should work with like more than 95% of people, all right? Uh, if you are using your, um, if you have prescription glasses, for example, you can use your prescription glasses with this and not mess around with this 
at all okay but if you do want to adjust that there is a way uh, to adjust the diopters you can get them directly from L3 uh, in different kind of uh, you know whether it's plus or, or minus I'm, I'm, I'm not a vision doctor but let's speak some more let's speak let's talk about more o about the uh, eye vision okay and you probably noticed these adjustment dials on both sides over here uh, I do much better with this kind of terminology than uh, anatomy terminology but uh, you probably noticed the dials what they're for really cool thing and it has to do with the articulation basically whenever you have your tubes spread out coming back in this adjusts the amount of how much how close they get together basically adjusting the what is it PIV pupil in the, basically the distance between the pupil obviously we have uh, unique distance between our pupils right so you can adjust it to your you know so it's perfect so every time you bring them down it's as perfect as it can be as it should be all right so really that's pretty much it now I'm gonna show you a few more times I'm gonna do some shooting just because you know why not uh, have some fun with uh, night vision shooting in complete darkness this orange right here this little orange circle is completely untouched so I'll see what uh, I can do with uh, being able to touch that now I do have a few things I have uh, my Glock 17 Generation 5 with night sights. I'll see how they work with the night vision and also I do have my Ruger PC charger which has Romeo 5 on it, but this Romeo 5 is XDR which is supposed to be night vision ready So I'm supposed to see that uh, red dot through these uh, Tubes which should be pretty cool. I'm gonna try that out, but if you want an ultimate ultimate aim point to use with a high quality high end night vision device like PVS31 this is probably what you want to go with your infrared laser and uh, I'm gonna demonstrate uh, to you how it works I'll try to do my best because it's kind of hard with the camera but basically what it does it sends the infrared laser which right now it is on and I don't know where I'm pointing but I'm pointing somewhere there and you don't see nothing, I don't see nothing because it is infrared, it's undetectable to us. But you will be able to see that perfect laser beam through your PVS-31, which is, I mean, unbelievable. When it, okay, when it comes to the tactical advantage, all right, that you're getting with something like this, with a setup like this, is just beyond, beyond anything that is out there. So, I'm gonna put all this stuff on, uh, still, don't have a very good developed muscle memory for this because I am pretty new but getting a little better there it is all right and this thing turns it on so let me turn off the light get some light in oh yeah there you go that is better okay I have a flashlight on my PC charger so at least you can more or less see me so I actually have a very interesting ammo it's from Streak Visual Ammunition and what it does is supposedly, I, I don't know how good it works but we'll find out right now supposedly when you fire it it leaves kind of like a red projectile kind of like a almost like a line alright obviously not for too long but hopefully you can see it if you do that would be pretty awesome <laughs> so let's put it uh, in my Glock first Black magazine right here and uh, now I'm operating fully with my night vision and see how good it is I can load the magazine without any problems we'll put five rounds I'm gonna turn off the flashlight no flashlight so you are in complete darkness okay that orange at the top Where did I hit it? Did I even hit it? Okay, so uh, not that fantastic with uh, my Glock size. How about we turn this? Oh yeah, there we go. I think this should be good. I think this should be much better. All right, so let's do some shooting. 
We are in uh, almost complete darkness. I still have my flashlight on on my PC charger. Put some uh, five rounds, maybe, maybe more. How about we do some 10 rounds? Why not? 10 rounds in a Glock magazine. Actually, you know what? How about I try loading the magazine in the complete darkness? Yeah, sorry guys, all you're looking at is complete darkness. And I'm over here loading my magazine without any problems. My PC charger over here. Got loaded that up. Put my ear protection. Put some ear protection on. There we go. So, like I said, my red dot should be night vision ready. And yes it is. Let's do some shooting. Oh yeah. It's gonna be interesting. Okay, I think that was close. Oh yeah, I think I got it. Yep, I got it. Okay, perfect. That's what I'm talking about. So it's not as fantastic with the red dot, but you can still be pretty close. Okay, so. Oh yeah. Target destroyed. Check this out, let me turn on the light. <laughs> You even got one bullseye. So as you can see, with this thing right here, I mean, it takes practice for sure. It's a completely different experience. And uh, you can do much, much better job with something like, here we go. I have a seal on my Glock, which uh, does not work as well, obviously on the Glock will work way, way better on uh, your AR-15 or whatever kind of rifle that you use for your main arm. Uh, just because, you know, if it's sitting on your Picatinny rail, which is, this is what it is, attachment, and I'll probably end up eventually doing a separate review. Very, very, very simplistic in a way, but as a tool, makes your game much stronger. Just like this over here. And uh, honestly, it kind of reminds me of, uh, Really, a lot of things. If you look at the good, really good quality uh, equipment that is being used out in the field uh, and the standards for the equipment that is being used in the field, uh, the, the, the requirements to be in the field. Simplicity, very, very straightforward use, quality, ruggedness, build like a tank, and this is really what you are getting for, and that's why you're spending the money but if you are I mean if you are if you can afford it if you want to if you are serious about your night tactics I mean, you want to improve your night vision game this is really as good as, as it gets the only thing that is better than this like I said is the quad which is four of these tubes basically improving your um, field of sight but with this still navigating walking through the woods, driving on the dark highway, you can do any of that with this without, I mean, without any problems. Um, and you also have to keep in mind, this right here is barely one pound. Just this thing right here, like right under one pound. Obviously with the quad setup, you will have a heavier setup, probably double of that weight. Um, and of course, keeping that hanging out in front of you throughout the night, your neck, is not gonna thank you. So, PVS31, guys, I'm gonna do another comparison. I'm gonna do, uh, if you're interested to see a, a comparison between the cheaper digital night vision and an expensive like this, this, this one right here, uh, make sure to subscribe, because that video will be coming to Firearms of America. Thank you guys for sticking around. I really appreciate your time. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe, because more stuff will be coming. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.